Hi everyone, it's John back again with another Wellness Insight. I'm in the peer room at Lazy Acres in Hermosa Beach, beautiful store. And today's Wellness Insight will be sun care and how to take care of your skin during the summer, which just started officially a few weeks ago. So the first thing I would like to uh, mention is that the number one deficiency in the country is vitamin D. And we do need a controlled amount of sun exposure every day in order to make a, an appreciable amount of vitamin D. For me, it's about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm not out to get burned. I'm out to just get a little bit of sun to make vitamin D. And there's likely many more reasons to get sun exposure every day that we're just not aware of yet. I think in the near future, those things will be elucidated and science will prove that the sun is good for you. So don't be sun phobic completely. Get a little bit of sun. Now, what happens when you plan on being exposed for a longer period of time or you need more protection? That's where sunscreen comes in handy. Lazy Acres uh, long ago stopped carrying any chemical-based sun agents. We only carry natural sunscreens that will be good for your skin, good for the environment, and good for reefs. And uh, primarily zinc and titanium-based these are mineral blocks that deflect the sun away from your skin. Um, they come in a variety of different ways. They come in lotions, they come in sprays, and they also come in slightly more substantial, savvy deliveries. Um, these are all, uh, they range uh, from SPF 15 to SPF 45. There isn't a lot of variety in, uh, in the amount of UV protection you're getting in those. Um, so my suggestion is you just pick the one that is uh, right for you or feels good for you. Um, these are both reef safe, uh, Badger and Goddess Garden. Badger rates very highly on the Environmental Working Group Skin Deep Database of sunscreens. You should check that out, ewg.org. Um, they'll give you the, the scoop on uh, real clean sunscreens. Um, the next thing I would like to discuss is protecting your skin from the inside. Um, there are supplements that you can take that will help deflect, or maybe not deflect, but diffuse some of the UV radiation that is entering your body on a long summer day. And what I'm referring to is a supplement called astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is a carotenoid pigment similar to beta carotene or lycopene in tomatoes or lutein in marigold petals. Um, it's a very strong antioxidant. It has lots of wonderful properties around the body. But after a couple of weeks of continuous usage, you actually will have uh, better protection against UV uh, radiation. It's also good for wrinkles and other skin things too, so uh, keep that in mind. Um, astaxanthin isn't widely available in foods, but it is out there a little bit. Uh, krill oil has a little bit. Um, and then also salmon. The reason that salmon is that wonderful coral color is the pigment astaxanthin that's in there. And you can eat salmon. It would take a pretty nice chunk, about six, milli, uh, six ounces to equal what you might get in one pill. So keep that in mind. Um, astaxanthin, wonderful supplement. Uh, what happens if you get too much sun exposure? If you have uh, been exposed or you've gotten burned, uh, or you even suspect that you might get burned later, um, uh, aloe, of course, is probably you know the number one topical product of choice, and uh, it can uh, cool you down and reduce the inflammation of the burn. And then the other thing I'm going to suggest, if you happen to get burned, is an Ayurvedic food called amla. Amla is a berry. This can actually cool you down as well, and um, reduce the inflammation uh, that the UV uh, rays have caused to your skin. So. Amla and uh, aloe vera are both good for burns. And then the last thing I would like to suggest, um, since you're shopping at a health food store, is some foods that are uh, going to be beneficial for uh, mitigating some of the damage you might get from sun exposure. Um, for the most part, polyunsaturated fatty acids are highly volatile and highly unstable. And if you eat a lot of those, you will tend to burn more. So in order to, um, like, like I said, mitigate that, you need to replace those fats. And the best thing you can do is eat coconut oil. 
eat it. You can put it on your skin as well. It feels pretty good. But eating it every day um, will help to uh, transfer some of those volatile fats out of your body and you know put some of those coconut fats into your body. And then the other one, of course, is olive oil. And uh, everyone is aware of the health benefits of olive oil. This is just another one of those. Uh, it's very stable and um, can also do wonders uh, at mitigating the um, damage that uh, uh, can be caused by UV uh, rays. And as a side note, if any of you haven't had this particular bottle yet, Lazy Acres makes a dynamite olive oil, the one from California, I think is worth it. So anyway, thank you all for joining us uh, and uh, come back next week for another video. Thank you.